fear of being weak, and these are certainly you and I can have some fun here, but these are so serious. I mean, because so many of us, we have this preconceived notion, like you said, that everyone's going to think I'm weak if I'm going through this. And this, this goes back to the Marine Corps stuff, too, and I, I goof off. I'm silly all the time. I got to be serious here for a minute. You know, I talk a lot about, I do a lot of segments on, on veteran suicide, unfortunately. And this is one of the problems that we have, you know, in the Marine Corps especially, but in the military in general, we have a phrase. It's improvise, adapt, and overcome. So when we come across the hurdle, when we come across a speed bump, some sort of adversity, we improvise, we adapt, we overcome. There's a mission. It has to be completed. Failure is not an option. What I think happens with a lot of veterans especially is, they try to apply that towards mental issues, mental problems they're having, and it doesn't apply. So when they face something that's a hurdle mentally, they try to apply the improvise, adapt, and overcome. It doesn't work. So what do they know? Failure is not an option. That's where suicide comes into play, which is why we see such a high – one of the reasons, not the only reason, one of the main reasons why we see such a high level of suicides for veterans is because they view it as a sign of weakness and a sign of failure, which it's not. That's what we have to get away from. Our emotions are okay. You're not weak because you feel them. We just have to show you ways to express it. That's all it is.